Greetings and welcome to the second part of the series on how to create your own Android launcher slash home screen application. This part of the series is going to cover the basic layout of the application, and we are still not going to get into any of the Java code. If you are wondering, I have created a launcher called Lucid Launcher, which is available on the Google Play Store. As you can see from the screenshots, this is not a normal looking launcher with multiple screens and so forth. This is going to be more like the launcher created in this tutorial, so please keep that in mind. By the end of this video, you will be up to this point. There is a handle at the bottom of the screen in which you can drag up or you can simply click and it moves all the way up to the top. This will be the content of where the applications will be. And this will be the home screen. Also, keep in mind that the only reason why it is showing up laggy is due to the fact that this application, Android Screen Monitor, has to grab a screenshot from the device and refresh it as fast as possible. Now let's dig into development. From your project folder, click on the Android Manifest.xml file. Inside of this file, we are going to set the theme of the main activity. So in the activity tab, type Android theme at Android style then theme dot now from here you have a choice from theme dot wallpaper dot no title bar or theme dot holo dot wallpaper dot no title bar um, if you choose theme.holo.notitlebar or theme.holo.wallpaper.notitlebar, you have to change the minimum SDK version up to 11 because that is when it's supported. And if you choose to keep theme.wallpaper.notitlebar, it will be the old looking UI and some of the features that we may be using will not be supported, such as Object Animator, and you'd have to find a way around that. Now that we have that set up, if you launched it, it would show um, the wallpaper of your device in the background of the application. We do not need the basic launcher manifest file open anymore, so I'm going to close it. Now that we've done that, open up the activity main.xml from your project folder layout and activity main. If your layout came with any of the any of this padding or any extra things, you can simply remove it and make sure that it is a relative layout. Now we can remove the text view and start to create a new thing called sliding drawer. So inside of the sliding drawer tab, we are going to set the Android ID to at plus ID slash drawer. And we are going to set Android layout width to match parent. And we are going to set Android layout height to match parent. And we are going to now set the handle and content. So Android handle and then Android content. Now we are going to create these views after this. But we 
what we create, it's going to be named app plus ID um, handle and app plus ID content. Now we will create those two views. So inside of the sliding drawer, we're going to create a new view, which is an image view. This image view is going to contain the handle. So Android ID at plus ID slash handle. And then the background. Now this is what you your picture that you want to look like of the handle. So I you could use add drawable and choose something or ch and choose the launcher icon or you can create your own for what I showed earlier I was using the icon but I am actually going to switch that up so inside of the basic launcher I'm going to open up the res folder and create a new folder called drawable dash no dpi because I don't want to deal with multiple images at this moment and then I'm going to copy this image that I have into that folder now that you have your own image in there you should click on the res folder and click F5 this will refresh and add what you just put in there and take notice of it so I'm now I'm on a, now I am able to change the background to up arrow which is the image I added now that you've done that just set the layout width and layout height so I'm going to copy and paste it from the sliding drawer but instead of match bar, I'm going to change it to wrap content. So that it doesn't take up all the space. Now I am going to add a grid view. Inside of grid view, I'm going to set the ID to at plus ID content. And I'm going to set the layout width and height to match parent. So I'm going to copy that from sliding drawer. Now that we did that, I am going to change the background color of the grid view. So Android background. And you can change it to whatever you want. You could do at Android color and then pick a color, but it doesn't have any transparent colors. So I'm going to create my own color. So inside of the values fo folder, right click, say new, Android XML file, and name it colors.xml. Now that you've created the file, click into editor mode and create a new resource, color. So color, name equals, let's make this black underscore transparent. Now that you have the name in there, you can close it up and then put in the color which is going to be 80 for 50 percent and then red green and blue now that you have the color set up exit it so that it saves and we are not going to need it anymore for this video and then you can go and the 
layout and say cold at color slash black transparent. So now the background is going to be black transparent. Now that we have that set up, this concludes this video. So I am going to run it and show you what it looks like. Now, as you can see, it has the arrow at the bottom that you can use to lift the um, grid view area. So that concludes this video. Um, please subscribe so you can keep up with uh, all the new tutorials added and like and be sure to comment and support me because that is what makes me do what I do.